what is up guys it is your boy main mania and welcome back to another episode of mk mobile in the last episode i was complaining about tap joy because those bastards screwed me i did a couple of tap joy offers so I can get some souls to spend on the Diamond MK11 pack when it was on sale. And unfortunately, the souls never came. It took me almost three days, three days for the souls to register in my account. And I was not able to get or take advantage of the pack that was on sale that I wanted. And so now I have the urge to do a pack opening, but no packs to open. The only pack we can open is this make it rain pack. And I'm not a big fan of spending 562 souls for a pack, but the last time we opened up a Make It Rain pack, it was raining. It was raining. Hey, listen. And so that's what the name of the game is today. We're gonna open up some packs, boys. We can only open up 10. Why it's not 20, I don't know. Let's take a quick look at the odds. The odds are, we got the MK11 characters, but no MK11 Sindel baked into it. We have a 15% chance for diamonds with the rarest chance going to Rain, Shang, and Noob. I'm not sure why MK11, Jade, and Sub also have a 1.5% chance. You would have thought they would have distributed that differently. But strangely enough, they have not. I feel like Jade, Cabal, and Raiden should have had the same percentage since they're all in the same MK11 diamond pack. So I find that interesting, but I don't make the game. I just play it. So 10 packs. My goal is to Fusion X MK11 Noob. I think he's at eight or nine. So we would need either one or two. That's my goal. Um, I'd love to get Shang up there because I still think that Shang is an absolute assassin, an unkillable assassin that not enough people talk about. I made a video about him in the past. And I said, is Shang Tsung underrated? And if you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out and let me know what you guys think in that video's comment section. But pack number one, let's hope it rains. I'm in a bad mood. I opened up some of the Diamond MK11 packs when I finally got my souls, not at a discount. I opened up 10 packs, guys, 10 Diamond MK11 packs and got all golds all golds and i was so triggered i'm like i'm not opening up shit so give me a diamond okay okay game okay this is how you start a pack opening this is how it begins make me feel better about what happened the last time could you imagine if I opened up 10 packs and got 10 diamonds? Oh my god. That would have to be the best Mortal Kombat mobile opening of all time. But alright, we started off on a good note. Feeling good about that. We're going to open them up one at a time because it's more fun that way. So we got a Shang. One of my... I, that's the number two character I want in this pack, so we'll take that. Next. Cassie. Cassie, it's not your turn. All right, come on, baby. Give me Noob. Show me Noob. Or Jade. Oh, God, I get so nervous. Uh-oh. You know, sometimes you start off hot, and then you go cold, and it hurts. It hurts. 562 souls for golds does not feel good, guys. It does not feel good. Oh, God. Oh, no. The slide has begun. 
The slide has begun. Guys. All right, main. Don't get nervous. Be positive. Give me another diamond. They didn't listen to me this time. Shit. Guys, I think my luck has worn off. It's, it hurts to start so strong and not follow up. Come on, man. Come on. Five left. Five left. Okay, okay. MK11 Rain and the Thunderblade should now be at Fusion X. So shout out to that. All right, we got two diamonds, two very strong diamonds. You know, we, we could have got an MK11 Raiden or something like that or Scarlet, right? Well, so far we've gotten some very strong diamonds. Three out of six. Wait, we've gotten two, right? Two, two out of six. So two diamonds so far. I feel like we're going to get a noob Cybot. I just want a noob Cybot. I'm saying that, but it's just because I want one. Four packs left. Come on. Be good to me. You don't stop honking your horn outside. Cassie, come on, girl. This is not your, your, your time to shine. Three left. If we get two out of ten... I guess that still is decent, but is it worth 562 souls? I can't say that. We need to get at least three. We got to get at least one more diamond. We got the diamond, but we got Scarlet. What is this? They match the character with their equipment? You know, I haven't been paying attention to that, but I think that's what's happening here. You get the equipment for the character. That's pretty interesting. All right, guys, we got our three diamonds. Can we make it four? We have two packs left. That would be that would feel great. Give me noob, please. Because Faction Wars has been horrible. Has anybody else felt like the Faction War rewards have completely slowed down? I think I've only gotten two diamonds from my Faction War rewards. Mind you, I finish at basically champion or master every season right may have had a couple seasons there at contender elite but those are pretty much the only three places i usually finish i've literally only gotten two diamonds since the summer so not very good and before that i was getting diamonds like every every two to three weeks so does anybody else feel like the faction war rewards have slowed down significantly and the funny thing is, I've gotten so many classic smokes. I probably have had a total of 27, 28 classic smokes already. I could have fused next to him maybe three times by now. I keep getting classic smokes. I got classic smoke like maybe four seasons in a row. And I was just like, are you kidding me? Of all the characters, classic smoke, I got him like four times in a row back in like September, October. Made no sense to me, but let me know if you guys have felt that way about the Faction War rewards. Next, Triborg. All right, well, we got one pack left. Did it rain? Not really. We got three diamonds out of 10. If we get four out of 10, that's solid because that means that we got 40% of our packs were diamonds. But these are very expensive packs, so it's like we got to get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess we still beat the odds. The odds were 15% chance, right? And technically, we're going to end with a 30% chance if we don't get anything else, so... Let's finish strong and let's get a diamond that we're going to love. Don't give me Scarlet or Raiden. No diamond. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did the pack opening. It didn't rain, but, you know, it drizzled a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't rain, but it drizzled a little bit. We got three diamonds out of ten packs. The problem with this is these packs are so expensive. It just it doesn't feel... It feels like, was it worth it? Because I feel like these packs cost double the cost of most discounted packs. Not the normal pack, like the discounted version of it. So um, you ask yourself like, all right, if you get three out of 10, but you're paying like 560 souls per pack, 
Did you really get your money's worth? You let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think I got my soul's worth? Did I get my money's worth today? I got three diamonds out of 10 packs, but 10 very expensive packs. Do you think I got my money's worth? Then again, I did get rain. I did get shame. Scarlet can go somewhere. Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this pack opening. In addition to that, let me know if you guys opened up these packs and what your luck was looking like. Hopefully, you guys had great luck. Maybe your luck was even better than mine, but let me know what your luck was with the Make It Rain packs. And how do you guys feel about them limiting these packs to only 10 packs, only 20 packs? Don't you feel like if we work for our souls or we grind or whatever, we have our souls, don't you feel like we should be able to spend them whenever we want. Like if there's a sale, we should be able to just spend our souls if we feel like spending our souls. Why are you limiting our enjoyment of the game? Yet you're giving us all these very frustrating towers and non-boss battles and boss battles and equipment with debuff after debuff after debuff. Why do they insist on frustrating their player base instead and then limiting the little things that we find enjoyable about this game? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you see how backwards WB be thinking? I don't want to complain, but I got to be honest at the same time. I got to be honest. It's like they don't want us to have fun. It's like they don't want us to enjoy the game. It's so weird. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Y'all know the deal. Subscribe if you're new for more MK Mobile content. Like the video to show some love. If you want to show extra love, you guys can hit the join button and become a channel member at which you'll be able to add yourself to my Discord server and hang out, hang out with us all day in between videos. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the comment section. Leave some good comments. It's your boy Main Mania. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.